Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy and Charmaine and Ian. And uh, we have a list of people here that we would like to minister to today. So, the first person I want to minister to is Rita Kutsia. So, Rita, I really feel that the Lord is giving you a word that there is a hope and a future and a breakthrough for you. And even in this season, as we approach Rosh Hashanah, I just see the scroll that God releases to you. And He's got a, a place for you where you can connect. And you know, it feels to me like you have temporary connections, but the Lord is opening up a way for you to have a permanent connection financially and also with the landships in your life. And I also feel the Lord just want to affirm to you and say, I love you, I'll protect you, and I'm with you. God bless you, Rita. Uh, Rita, God loves you so much. I saw how God showed me this picture of how you used to stay like in a temporary home. But God shows me how He wipes away that temporary home and He gives you like a permanent residence. And I just felt like in this permanent residence, God says, all the supplies that you need is in this residence. I felt like how God showed me like that He's going to provide for you a team of people. That, but I feel like how the team of people is like a, a team of people that's going to help you emotionally through things. And then I also saw like how God just shows me how He gives you like a fresh anointing, a fresh new anointing. Be blessed. Thank you, Rita, for being here. Please write us a comment. The next word is for Renir van Amarva. Renir, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you uh, like a in a cage. So it's got the front, the top, the bottom and the back, but it doesn't have the two sides. And I see the Lord says to your problem, there's two solutions. There's You don't see any solution, but there's two solutions. And the problem is tradition. I see the way you normally do things. Normally, that is the wire and you're looking into that and you're not sure how to overcome the problem. Uh, where the Lord says it's neither that it's in front of you, but it's on the sides of you. So uh, look away from tradition. Uh, look to the Lord, pray, and the Lord was going to give you the answers that you need. Be blessed. Amen. Renee, God loves you so much. And I just really feel how the Lord, how the Lord is really going to bring beauty from ashes and areas of your life where you feel like it's impossible. God is going to bring so much transformation and breakthrough. And I just feel how the Lord says, I saw how you have like a list of things that you're trusting God for. And I just feel the Lord says, it's not going to go the way you planned it. I have a better plan and it's going to go even better. So I just feel the Lord says, I have a plan and I, I'm looking out for you. And then the last thing, I just see like you're like this pot plant and God is really make really establishing you and planting you right now in the season. God loves you. Hello, I also see the harvest is ready and I see this harvest, uh, the, the field with the ripe harvest ready uh, to be harvested. Hi, God bless you, Renier. Uh, so the next word is for Paul. Uh, Paul, the Lord shows me how you and your family are shifting, are moving, and you know, when they pack a package to move it, uh, they sometimes put it in bubble wrapping. And I just see how the Lord through the Holy Spirit, He, he makes a plan and He pack all of you in that protection cover of the Lord so that you can handle the shift and even if there's bumps or, or, or um, you know, when I pack the, the boxes and the pressure, I just see how the Lord put that, uh, that uh, wrapping of protection around you and your family. God bless you, Paul. Paul, what I saw for you, God showed me like this massively big engine, like a generator, a huge generator, but I saw like how this engine is like running on the, the wrong... Um, oil or something like that so it's not running efficiently like the way it should be running and I just felt like our God is saying allow me to change your oil allow me to come into your life so that I can give you the focus I can give you the the strength and I can give you the vision I feel like our God shows me like you've got this glasses on but with this glasses you're not able to see the vision that God has got in store for you so I feel like our God is saying he wants to change your prescription and want to give you new glasses be blessed Thanks, Paul, for being here today. Please write us a comment. The next one is for Sharika. Sharika, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a packet of cards and it doesn't matter how you shuffle those cards. The jokers keep staying in, in the front. And the Lord says because, because it doesn't belong there. In the sense of a lot of the serious games that you would play with the cards, uh, there's no joker in it because there's, it's not about uh, the, the lucky one to draw that. Now just see how the Lord says uh, there's a game face of seriousness, a game face, uh, especially in the work area that you need. And 
uh, being joking or joking around is not always going to cut and i just feel how the lord says if you look the part you will get the part and i really see how the lord's just giving you strategy uh, and confirmation what you need in order to to fit in into the corporate area where you need to fit in. Be blessed. Amen, Sharika. I just feel how God is really um, giving you a crown of joy and I see how he's decorating it. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm clothing you in my glory. And I feel the Lord is really lifting you up in a new place of worship where you're going to spend time with him. And when you worship, you're going to get the solutions. You're going to get ideas. You're going to get so much hope and peace because that's what god wants to bring into your life and then when, when you go out out um out to work or to your family and then there's just it's just going to carry through god loves you god bless you hey god bless you sherika so next word is for david david i see how the lord poured oil on you and just like the oil went onto the head of aaron and onto his beard and then onto that mantle i see how the anointing of god goes on your life and on your mantle and how you give that mantle to uh, your children but also to people that work with you colleagues how that same anointing that's on your life and that open heaven of blessing is also coming into their lives and that help you again to have expansion and growth god bless you uh, David, what I saw for you, God showed me how, like, I felt like how God is saying that He's giving you an oomph. He's giving you, like, a refreshment. I just feel like how God is showing me that you've been, like, in this season where it feels like it's like a dry season. It feels like you don't hear well, you don't see well, and it just feels like everything is not 100% the way it should be. And I just feel like how God shows me how He's, like, filling you up again. I saw, like, uh, you know, like a soda that's got like this bubbles inside of it like but I feel like how you were like the soda and you became like flat you don't have this bubbles anymore and I just feel like our God is saying that he wants to give you the sparkling back again be blessed thank you David for being here please remember write to say comment the next word is for Kerry and Kerry and the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture where the Lord gives you a crown and when you want to put up a mask everybody knows it's you because they can see the crown and the lord says the function of the crown is not for you to be able to cover it people will know your your uh, you are worthy people will know your royalty people will know that you are serving god and it's not something that you can mask or do undercover i just see people's going to know and because they know they they will feel comfortable with you and you will feel comfortable in the circumstances where you are so i just see how the lord is the lord's going to give you a lot of courage as well with that crown so just wear it and yes be blessed I really feel how the Lord is really healing you in this time. Um, Kerry, I, I, the picture God showed me for you is how much you love the summer and you love the sun, but all of a sudden all these rain clouds come and you, you're not so happy about it. But, but I feel how the Lord says, let it rain, and how all of a sudden it rains and all, all that doubt, the drought um, goes away and every and all, the, the, all your crops get um, watered. Um, and I just feel the Lord says that it's going to be good for the harvest. So the Lord says, don't doubt it and know that I'm protecting you yeah I really feel that there's a lot of rain that God wants to bring um, into into every area of your life and he wants you to overflow so I just feel the Lord says um, don't walk in fear walk in my joy God loves you Kerry hey Kerry God bless you thank you so the next word is for Elizabeth Elizabeth so the Lord shows me your heart and the barricades in front of your heart and how you want to protect yourself but how the Lord is helping you, is healing you from your past so that you can love the Lord. And I see how that furnace uh, opens up of God's fire and His love for you. And how you open up your, your, your gateway of first love for His fire and His glory uh, and that encounter of God to come into your life. And the Lord change, is changing your life and is healing you so that you can uh, continually be on fire and be that open gate for His glory to flow out of your life. God bless you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, God loves you so much. I just felt like our God saying he wants to take away the frustration. I see like how God shows me that he wants to restore a unity. And then I also saw like how God shows me how he's like putting, uh, uh, you're giving your heart love and he's giving you heart compassion for other people. And then I also felt like how, how God just shows me how you're like um, going to bear with other people's 
faults or mistakes or something and you're not just going to show not just going to say but you did that you're rather going to say but how are we going to fix it and i just really feel like our god is saying that he wants to restore relationships be blessed thank you elizabeth for being here please remember write us a comment the next word is for christopher christopher the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you the picture that i saw for you was you were as you were running your legs went super fast it is supernatural i just see how the lord says i'm giving you supernatural ability above your com uh, competitors and how you will just outrun them outsmart them you will be able to achieve a lot more uh, because the lord is placing that specific blessing and anointing upon your life and i just see how always when you are successful how you give the glory to god and because of that it just happens again and again and again be blessed Amen. Christopher, I just see how you're in front of this mountain and you are so determined to get on this mountain. And I see how the Lord equips you with these walking sticks and tools to get up. And I just see how, and, and the Lord has given you a promise that that place will be like the promised land filled with milk and honey. But I just feel how the Lord says that it, it was like he equipped you with his backpack. And I just saw how this backpack was overflowing with honey. And I just feel the Lord says, the, my goodness is already with you. Keep on going. And I just feel... Wherever you go, there's just going to be that overflow of honey in your life. I feel that's just a promise God has given you. God loves you, Christopher. Hey, Christopher, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Layla. Uh, Layla, the Lord shows me a noble robe that he puts over you like a kingly robe. Uh, and the Lord says, daughter, uh, you are worthy. Uh, I've determined it from uh, when you were born. I've given you a scroll that you will walk in my glory and you will be one with the authority of God upon your life. And I just felt the Lord wants to restore your joy and a passion inside of you to fulfill this wonderful call that God has upon your life. God bless you. Layla, when I prayed for you, what I saw for you, I, I, I saw God gave, God is showing me that He's giving you gold, He's giving you silver, He's giving you like gems. I just felt like our God shows me how He's got, giving you all these precious things. But I feel like our God is saying, today all of those stuff is yours but what i want to give you truly want to give you is my presence i want to give you my 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 spirit to go over you and i just feel like how you're like standing under water and while the water is like falling over you i feel like how the presence of god comes over you and i just feel like how god is saying when you have that when you have my presence you will not need anything else be blessed Thank you, Layla, for being here. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Jason. Jason, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you uh, getting ready to partake in a competition and I just see how the Lord equips you. Every time you think you're ready, the Lord gives you something else to equip you. And I just see how you're fully dressed and the Lord says, now it's time to stand strong because I have given you the understanding. And because of the understanding, uh, you will have a lot of wisdom. You'll have a lot of abilities because you you have understanding. And the Lord says that's a gift out of His hand to you. Be blessed. Amen. Jason, that's such a cool word. Um, I'll pray for you. I just feel how the Lord is really giving you wisdom. Like you asked for wisdom, wisdom, just like Solomon asked for wisdom. And that wisdom really blessed him and made him successful. And such a mighty man in the Bible. And I just feel how the Lord says, I've sent you my Holy Spirit. I'm refilling you with my fire, with my love, with, with my anointing. And I just feel the Lord is really filling you up so you can go out and really um, pray for people, be a blessing to people and really really um disciple people and be a leader god loves you god bless you hey god bless you jason hey awesome thank you family it was such was such a pleasure for us to minister to you uh, today uh, please write us a comment if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet uh, you can hit that subscribe button write me a little comment uh, i really love and appreciate each one of you have a fabulous day god bless